Hello, my convicts and convicts. Just a designer cup convict bringing you guys and gals, yes, a new video. So, salute and welcome. So, as you all know, every once in a while I like to do something kind of odd or kind of silly. So, today in the video, I kind of want to do something a little bit silly and do a unboxing. Now, I've never done one of these before. This is probably the first time I'll ever do it, and maybe the last time I ever do it, as you probably will see in the title of this video. So what is it? Well, as we all know, as we go through life, these certain shops pop up. Now at the moment, there's been one called Wish and there's a brand new one called Temu. Temu is kind of like a, I guess like an alternative of Wish, but apparently it got highly rated and it was on the Super Bowl and that was where it got advertised as it uh, actually existing as an app. So people have been getting stuff from there and they've been doing unboxings and obviously recording them as well. So I thought, why not? Let's do the same as well. So today I'm going to do an unboxing of what we got here from Temu. Uh, it didn't take too long to come. All of the devices have come all together. I might have shot myself in the foot just a little bit because some of the items I bought don't really present, you know, don't really um, accentuate or, or however you would say it. Uh, basically how probably bad these products will be or how um, cheaper they will be obviously in regards to buying it full price for the actual product you normally get from a store if you were to go uh, and actually get it from an official place that is going to cost and be expensive at. So that is what we're going to do today. We're going to unbox what we got from Temu here and we'll have a look. Fun fact, I actually used to work for a store called the 99p store and uh, 99 pence shop there's pound shop here in the uk as well and these shops basically do the same sort of thing they get all these products in they'll get plastics kitchenware they'll get um, cards birthday cards food all sorts of like various different things that you can get and you can literally go in and get them for a pound oven mitts uh, frying pans and stuff like that. lots of different weird concoctions of items you can actually get for just one pound from their store, as well as toys, cheap toys. So, you know, always a bargain, always a bargain. However, obviously, when you buy anything that is cheap, it's going to be what? Cheap. It's not gonna be expensive, it's not gonna be all special. And uh, I'm expecting that with Temu. Now, a lot of people have suggested that Temu's been really good, or it's been getting some raving reviews from certain people, but as we all know from Wish or from anything like that, they're just gonna be not quite exactly what you would expect. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unbox this, which has got some items in it, and we're gonna have a look and see if they're any good. So without further ado, here we go. So I'm gonna open it here. I'm not gonna open it in front of, uh, of you guys, just in case it doxes me or anything. Don't wanna dox myself. So like I said, I actually went and got products that probably won't be um, that hard to make, to be honest, or will come across as all right anyway. So I kind of shot myself in the foot in that sense. I should have probably tried a bit harder with maybe more like sort of electronic style stuff, but we have got one electronic in there. So first off, we've got socks. I asked them to send me some socks. I needed some new socks. And these are what they are. They are. They're called Bondit. Uh, a lot of them are knockoffs because you'll notice they'll actually have the signature, the signature logo of maybe a brand. I don't know what brand this would be, but uh, these are the socks in question. They actually look a bit small. Don't know if they'll fit my feet. I'm not gonna show my feet. Ugh. I hate my feet as it is, but uh, they come in different pairs and stuff as you can see here. And it's not too bad, not too bad. They're, they're all right. Uh, in terms of material, they feel all right. They feel all right. They don't feel like super thin or nasty or, or anything like that. I can't see any threading or anything that would suggest um, that they've been done design badly or anything like that. Um, just normal average socks. So there you go. So second item we've got in here. is this it's a charging cable apparently 
Um, we can try this out actually and see if this works. But it's a big chunky boy charging cable. Now Rio has a terrible problem of breaking all of my charging cables. So I thought, why not? Let's get a charging cable and see if it works. And as you can see, it's pretty long. Uh, the reason why I got it long is because Rio does like to move around the room and he will pull everything with it if he can. But I wanted to kind of try it out. So what we're gonna do, well actually I won't be able to do it, will I? I can if I've got my adapter. Now one thing I've noticed straight off the bat, I don't know, it might be the bag actually. Hold on. I think it's the bag, because the bag's orange. I was gonna say I've got like orange substance on my fingers, but that's from the bag, probably. Has got a thing. Now, the only, I've kind of shot myself a little bit in the foot here, that's, this is my fault, but it's USB to USB. Uh, there is no, uh, I mean, type C to type C, as you can see, not USB to USB. It's type C to type C. So that's my fault for not looking at it properly. I do have an adapter that will change type C to USB and then obviously that, so we can try that. Um, I believe it's, get off. Right, I believe it's in here. I always keep my little bits and pieces in here. Let's have a look. There we go, we've got it. So this is the adapter. So you just put the adapter on the end there and you can plug that in like so. So we can still try it. It's just, I'm an idiot and didn't think of looking to see if it was USB to type C. So that's plugged in there. It does light up. It does have a little light to it. Can you see that little blue light? There's a little blue light there that you can see just, just here. And uh, where, what can we plug it into? Uh, what would, ah, here we go. We've got Rio's phone here. So if we plug it in, it should, in fact, charge. And uh, it is, in fact, charging. It is charging. Yep, it's charging. If you look, just at the very top, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see that little lightning bolt. So this is actually charging. So it is charging. Why do I leave this on charge? And then at the end, I'll tell you what the percentage is at, but at the moment, where's the, the battery? Can we find the battery? Where's the, the uh, battery mode? Can we change the percentage? Connection sharing, display and brightness, is it under that? No. Uh, battery, there we go, battery. Right, so I'll leave it on this one. So it's at 26% at the moment. And I'll leave it there, let it charge, and then we'll see what happens when we get to the end of the video. See how far it's charged on beyond that. Now I'm probably not expecting it to finger. I might do a full charge and then kind of test that out. But for now, we'll leave it like that and see what happens, so uh, yeah. Now we've got this one. Now this one, well, you will definitely recognize uh, as a knockoff. It just says it's a ring. And it tells you what the ring is and that, but you'll notice from it in a moment what it is. It may be too small for me. I don't think it'll fit, but the problem is it said different sizes and it doesn't really give you, you know, like in UK, UK sizes you get like S and stuff and like the alphabet. This one just said numbers. It didn't really give me uh, specifically a, uh, oh, actually it might, no, it's not gonna fit on there. It'll, f it'll fit my little finger. Yep, it'll fit on my little finger. I could probably buy the bigger size if I like it, but, because uh, it was only cheap. These are really, really cheap. Uh, but yeah, let me show you this one. Now this one, I, uh, I was going around and I was like, oh, this kind of looks interesting. And uh, I don't know how good it will be and stuff. And I thought, I'll, I'll order it anyway and see what happens. And uh, here we go. 
So I don't know if this phone will focus. Good enough. Are you going to focus for me, phone? Go on, focus. Come on. Focus. No, it's not going to focus. But basically, can you tell what it is? You might be able to tell by the writing on it what it is. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. You shall not pass. Can you tell what it is now? I'm sure you probably guessed what it is. It's the one ring. It's the Lord of the Rings. But it's not called Lord of the Rings. It's just called, it's just called a, a ring or something. And uh, it's got the inscription, the elven inscription that goes all the way around the ring. And it also on the inside as well, goes around the inside of the ring. Now this is size 7, it says. I probably could do with size 8 because this won't fit on my wedding finger. As you can see, it won't, won't fit on that finger. I could probably get it on there, but I don't want to do that. I'd end up uh, with it permanently stuck on there. However, it does fit on my little finger, like so. And uh, it, it, it's, it's not too bad. It's a little bit loose. It's, it's a shame. I should have probably just got that one size bigger and it would have been better. But uh, it, it fits on there and it fits on nicely. So there you go. So I'll, I might wear this a little bit, see if it comes, see if it bleeds. Generally, if you, you like doing stuff, it'll uh, lose color or it'll bleed or whatever. And you'll get like a weird green thing around your finger and stuff. I might try that and see what happens. Definitely won't fit. No, that's definitely not going to fit on that finger. Not, not without some welly. And I don't want to do that because otherwise I'll never, never get it off and I'll end up having to probably have it cut off my hand and I don't want that so uh, for now it'll do right there I uh, on looking at it it's not bad it's not bad it is a, it does seem a little bit different to what I remember on the the thing itself but it's not bad that's not bad at all and it it's not doesn't seem like can I bend it? See if we can bend it. Bend it like Beckham. Because if it, if it's cheap, we should <clears throat> be able to bend it. But no, that doesn't seem like I can bend it. Hold on. <clears throat> no, you can't bend it. So that that's good. The orange off that bag. That blooming bag. I believe it's the bag. But uh, there you go. It's the one ring. From the Lord of the Rings. It's not bad. Not bad. It, it cost me about one pound odd. One pound eighty, I think it is. I'll try and find out the prices. And I'll put them in the description below. So if I don't mention them here in this. Then uh, obviously I'll uh, put them in the description. Because there's no... There's no thing on here now. There's nothing I can go by and it's all on my phone and I'd have to obviously miss about so I'll put the prices to the products in the description so if you want to check that out and see what the prices are I'll put them down there but yeah it's not bad not bad uh, definitely I need size 8 if I'm going to get this on my uh, wedding finger or, or non-wedding finger because it's my right hand this is my right hand and I don't have any other rings as you can see because I'm not married I'm divorced, but you can put it on your your little finger. On my on this on this hand, it sometimes sometimes seems to stick. But uh, there you go, the little ring. I'm not going to send it back. It's only only one pound odd. I could easily buy five of these and uh, not be a problem. But uh, there you go, the one ring. Now you can get that in different colours. You can get this in obviously the gold. You can get it in silver as well. Uh, with black writing or you can get it in black I kind of like the color black so I sense why I went for the black color so the last one this one is one that we can kind of make fun of if in fact it doesn't work and uh, we'll find out so back in the old day there's always been a problem especially in America it seems to be pretty bad 
There's always been a problem with people like stealing people's packages and stuff or if you just can't get, you're on the toilet or you're upstairs and you just can't quite get to the door. And it's really, really annoying because you want to be able to actually, you know, communicate or just say, just a sec, just give me two minutes and I'll be right with you rather than them taking it away and then you've got to wait a full day or whatever for it to come back. It's kind of annoying, kind of frustrating. So, with that being said, the ring is out in the moment, isn't it? The ring, obviously, big shout and salute to our good man, Shaq, who uh, obviously uh, invested in ring and obviously ring has become a, a big, big popular thing. So I had a look around and for just over 10 pounds, I got this, which is a uh, smart doorbell. It's called smart doorbell. It has Wi-Fi connect, real-time talking, vis uh, visualizable, dry battery, notification, different types of melodies, long time working, screenshot. And uh, I believe it also says you can also change your voice as well. Um, it's 102 by 63 by 31 millimeters, the doorbell. The speaker is 55 by 42 by 25. It takes AA batteries, which we can try out. Standby time is about 12 months. Working time, about three months, apparently. And it was made, obviously, as we all know, in China. So uh, let's open it and let's have a look, see what this looks like. Let's see what the quality is like on this thing. Right, you come out as well. Okay, so we get like a little screwdriver that comes with it. Uh, instructions. And this is what it looks like. Seems pretty cool. It's got a little white thing at the back. It doesn't feel loose or anything. It feels very plasticky, but kind of firm plastic. Can't really like squash it or anything. And it doesn't sound too bad at the front. Then we've got this bit, obviously, which plugs in. Oh, it plugs into USB. So it plugs into USB. So you can plug this in, uh, which I'll do in a moment. And then it's got little things on the, on the side, kind of like what I do with my doorbell thing. It's got three little items on the side for sound volume and stuff and changing the the sounds and stuff so uh, why not let's try it out let's give it a bash and see what happens with it so uh let me just open this is there a film on there it looks like there's a film obviously you want to give you the best representation of the quality but yeah it cost me 12 pound so all in all this package altogether was 20 pound all together all together for all these items Right, bit of ASMR for you. There you go. So I don't know where to put the batteries. Um, ooh, there's like an earphone jack at the bottom as well. It seems to have like an earphone jack. I don't know if that's true. Right, let me get this screwdriver. Screwdriver's pretty nice. You know, it's, it's cheap, very cheap. feels very cheap, but you know, if it does what it needs to do, then that's all right. I don't mind. So where do the batteries go is the question. Guess we could read the instruction. Let's have a look. Reset is on the back. So it's got a reset button at the back, which is. Uh, 
Okay, so it should have pinholes and then it should have a thing. I wonder if this white backing thing is supposed to be removed then. Speaker screw. Screw is right close to where the speaker is, apparently. Yeah, so that little hole in the bottom is not actually a thing, it's a screw. Apparently this is where the screw is. Oh yeah, I can see it. Is that actually unscrewing anything? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't really give you many instructions. It just tells you what it looks like, where the cameras are, where the screw is, where the speaker is, ding dong indicator match volume and all that speaker. Uh, how to use, scan that code, register and log in. Uh, different channels. If you have the correct or wrong channel. Um, if you press the ding dong. And that's it, and how to reset it to factory. So it doesn't actually give you a uh, physical idea. So I don't know, let's try one more time and then uh, I think we'll leave it here at this. But it's hard to tell if I'm unscrewing anything because the hole, the hole in the bottom is so small and tightly compact. I can't even tell if I'm unscrewing it or not because there's, there's literally no visible visibility down there to actually see if the screwdriver is actually making contact with the screw. And then to get it out, it's quite, quite tight. That's what she said. I know some of you wanted to say it. I'm, I'm saying it for you. That's what she said. I don't even know if that... It doesn't feel like it's making contact because it's not actually touching anything or it doesn't feel like it's touching anything. So I, I don't... I don't know. I am confused.com I still don't know if this, if this is supposed to be on here or does this come off or is this just a sticky bit? I'm guessing this, yeah, this, this on the back here, this is the sticky bit. So this whole white part here will be where you peel it here and then you stick it like that on, on the side. So I don't know. I can't try it because it's not plugged in. So I'll... Uh, I might pause it in a moment, see if we can unscrew it and then obviously we'll continue on. But for now, I'm just going to put that to one side, but just to re-show you what it looks like. Looks pretty cool. If I can get it working, I'll let you know. I'll do an update. If I don't do it in this video, I'll do an update to it. But it seems, seems all right. It feels cheap. It doesn't, <laughs> doesn't feel uh, overly expensive. It does take two AA batteries, I think it is what it takes. Uh, but in terms of it, like this, this actually f feels quite, quite good. This actually feels quite premium. It doesn't feel like cheap, cheap. Don't feel like an expensive item, but it's not too bad. We'll see. We'll see. The proof is on, obviously, in the testing. But 
for now I think we'll try that out. I think the only cheapest thing that feels is this does feel very very plastic and cheap uh, sort of thing. Probably could even yeah you can I'll, I'll be able to even even bend that look. I've slightly bent it there. So uh, this is very very cheap in terms of what that is but uh, not bad not bad. A little thing here a little barcode you could probably scan there. That, there you go. But not too not too bad. So So overall, not too bad. So just a re-review, obviously socks. Socks are socks. They they don't feel any different from socks. So, you know, socks are socks. There's not gonna be too much different there. The one ring from the Lord of Rings, even though they don't call it the one ring, um, it's called something else. Again, like I said, I'll put in the description to what they're called and to how much they cost. But it all came to 20 pounds altogether for this, even, even with the, uh, the ring bell. Uh, or the, 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 the knockoff style ring. And we'll see how it goes. Uh, if I can get to work, I'll do some recording of what it looks like and try and record it so uh, you can see and hear it and stuff. And I might even go outside and talk and see if you can hear it through there. Also, to come back to the, P, uh, to the phone, um, I forgot what the percentage was at. I'm sure it was about 20 some percent. We're now at, when it focuses, I don't think it's going to show you. Hold on. Can I? Oh, there we go. It's now at 37% as it, before it went off there. It's currently at 37%. So it is charging. It is charging. Just you can't, can't quite see that. There we go. 37% look. So it went from 20 some percent to 37%. So it's charging. All right. And the cable itself, this is, it feels like tubing, like tubing wire. It's kind of, kind of weird. As long as obviously if Rio can play with it and, and not break it, then uh, I'll use it for a while and it not break. Then that's, that's, that's good. Just remember if you do buy one, don't be dumb like me and buy one that is both USB-C to USB-C like this. Because otherwise, obviously, you can't plug it into anything without the adapter. And you need a little adapter which you can get a type, USB type. And then B to C sort of thing. And then you just plug this into the end there like that. And there you go. And then they just plug that to a USB port. I got this mainly, this connector actually, funnily enough. So I could have a wired uh, connection to my Quest 2 to the PC. Now on my other board, it has type C on the actual computer. This one doesn't. So I would have to use this USB type C into USB type B. You probably could even get this off Timo as well, get the adapter for it. But uh, there you go. It's pretty lengthy. I bought it obviously for Rio so he can use it and play about with it. Anyway, there we go. So I'm going to pause it. I'll try and get this working. If I can't, then uh, I'll come back and we'll finish off. So see you in just a moment. So we're back, we're back. I actually finally got it to work, I think. It is sliding down. It actually slides down. Don't know if you can see that, but you can just slide it up, slides down. So I think, just need to unscrew it a bit more, I think. Yeah, it's not quite unscrewed. It's not coming out. All right, let me just try and unscrew it a bit more. It seems to be going counterclockwise is where it needs to go to get to unscrew. <sighs> Come on, get off. Does it just pull out? There we go. Okay. So you just pull it down slightly, like so, and then it just pulls out. Doesn't look like there was a, a screw in there. No, there wasn't a screw in there. No, unless I've dropped it. I don't think I've dropped it. Don't want to lean down too much before you be seeing my bald head. That's, that's the last thing I need. I can't see 
That's cool. So I don't think I had a screw with it, but uh, there you go. Uh, I have got some batteries I can put in it, but I have got some fresh ones. So if these don't work, I'll go get the fresh ones and we'll see what happens. But let me put that in there. Say it again. What did you say? I don't know what you said, love. Say it again. Talk to me. Oh, gracious doorbell. I don't know. Um, let me plug that into there. There we go. Okay, so that's working. That one's working. So if you press the bell. It does work. It's kind of weird because I just pressed it once and it didn't work. You do it twice, it does it. If you <laughs> press it twice, it does it. Now, you might be able to change the setting for that. I don't think you can, but what other sounds have we got on here? Let me have a look. There you go. Under the sea, under the sea. The knock here. And there we go, we got to the end there. Uh, Ah, oh, it's not bad, not bad. So all, it's got quite a few different ringtones, even the Little Mermaid in there as well, under the sea. Please rebind. Please rebind, it says. Uh, so I've got to rebind it. So yeah, all you basically do, there's no screw. There's supposed to be a screw in the bottom, but you just basically pull down and then you pull apart, you pull that way. So you basically have three little grip clips, as you can see on here, and they just go in and then you just push up and then when you want to take off, you pull down and then you just pull that way away from the device like it's there and you get access to where the batteries are. It's supposed to have a little bit for a screw. Uh, I might have a screw that I can actually put in there for motherboard screws and what have you, which you could fit in the bottom. But it's supposed to have a screw in here, it doesn't, unless it's falling out. But I didn't see it fall out and I couldn't really see it in there either. I did use the light of this phone to kind of have a glance in there. And uh, after just messing and fiddling with it, I eventually got to a point where it moved. And I went, oh, because I was like, can I just pull it? Shut up. I just pulled it and then it came off and then obviously that happened as well. So there we go. Uh, I need to pair it and all that good stuff in order to use it. So I'm going to leave for now because the video is long enough as it is already. Uh, but we'll try it out, maybe try it out, might do a little update on this device. It actually doesn't feel too shabby. After feeling it a bit more and what have you, it doesn't feel too shabby. The only weird thing is, if you go up and you press this once and let go, it doesn't, it doesn't do it. So you have to maybe put a, a little note saying, 
push twice uh, or tap twice to activate or something weird like that because if you press it just once it doesn't do it and it says please rebind because obviously this has to go through Wi-Fi I'll also let you know if this is a security problem as well because if this is connected to your Wi-Fi and it doesn't have like a security feature to it then obviously this would be quite dodgy to have on your Wi-Fi you'd have to put it under something where it's not allowed access maybe under like the uh for my wi-fi i have my normal wi-fi but i have guest wi-fi and you can um obviously make sure you limit the guest wi-fi to a certain amount and what have you uh so it doesn't get access to any other device it just gets a little bit internet connection and probably put it through that and see if there's a way i can put security on that site obviously as a, a, a password but maybe people might be able to Possibly connect to this and see see what's happening through your, your thing. But I'll double check on that and see. I've not checked it. But yeah, not bad. Not bad. Seems like all right quality. There isn't a screw in the bottom, which is not too bad. This is obviously the sticky thing itself. If I was to rate it out of 10, I'd probably give it about a... I'd probably give this maybe a 6 out of 10. It, it seems all right. It doesn't seem cheap. It doesn't feel cheap. I'm not going to cut myself. It seems to be... In, uh, designed you know in mind it just depends obviously how it operates and if it actually works and as we all know the doorbell bit works which is plugged into USB as you can see it's a USB one but in terms of the quality we'll have to find out what that's going to be like when people use it and uh, if it's going to be worth I might even put it there just to see people use it and see what happens and see how this sticky stuff on the back holds out as well on the device. Right, well, I'm going to go because I've been here for 36 minutes, but there you go. So, all in all, my first shop with a shop like Wish, or as I would say, like 99p stores, I'm, I'm quite pleasantly surprised. They're actually not that bad. Obviously, if you're going to buy stuff like, uh, like socks and stuff, or go for small little things then it would be okay. If you're going for, obviously, much more robust, heavier things, like electronical equipment and stuff like that, um, if I take this as like a 99 pen shop, then you, you, shut up, then you definitely don't want to be doing that because this is not something you would probably want to buy if you, you know, you're wanting something of a high quality product. But again, obviously this, I'll try out and let you know. So, so far, so good. So my rating for now with Timu under what we're doing, I will probably give it a rating of, um, I'm going to say 7 out of 10. Because the products do work and they didn't come broken. Uh, the quality of the socks seem good. I'll let you know. Uh, I don't, don't see any problem with the quality of the socks or anything. Socks are socks so. Uh, see how long this lasts and we'll maybe do a re-review in a, a few few weeks maybe a month or so time and uh, I'll let you know and then we've got the one ring here that's the only probably downfall is this purely because it doesn't give you actual UK sizing it just says size one size two size three si uh, no it wasn't one it's just uh, sizes six seven eight nine and ten and this was size seven it says on this um, I don't know but I still got the thing. I did take the tag off it. I can't find it now. But uh, this was size 7. And if you've got skinny hands like me, you definitely want size 8 of this. This doesn't bend. It's not like really, really cheap to the point where you can just like physically bend like an aluminium sort of ring or anything weird like that. Uh, it's actually quite a hard substance. So uh, it actually is not too bad in terms of what it is. And it's not got any issues. I've not been able to bend it out of shape or anything. We'll just see how it works. Obviously, if it's on my ring, uh, on, my, on my finger for a while, see if it leaks or if it bleeds or anything. I might do some washing up and see if it uh, loses this, this colours or anything like that and let you know what happens to it. But not bad. 
Not bad. Like I said, all these items I'll put in the description. I know this was about 10, 12 pounds. I know this was about one pound 80, somewhat. Um, the socks, they were one pound somewhat as well for the, all these socks. And there's quite a few pairs here. There's uh, one, two, three, So there's three, four, five, and six. Six pairs of socks. So that's not bad for obviously what it is. Um, I'll double check what the actual amount of socks was and if, if they actually sent me the correct amount of socks, we'll uh, check it out. And like I said, anything I'll put in the description, if I need to update, I'll do an update for you guys and gals. And I'm using my little microphone, as you can see here as well for this to make sure that the quality comes out as good as it can do. So there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick unboxing of products from Timu. Uh, if you're going to buy stuff like cheap, like socks, or you want socks and stuff, there is a lot of products on there. I do recommend trying it out. It is free shipping and you do get some insane, incredible discounts. I got during my time of obviously shopping up to 60% off is what I got. They gave me 60% off products. So that's why I got them at one pound odd each and whatever. I'll tell, I'll tell you what the real price is and then what the discounted price was at the time of purchase because obviously it will change from time to time. But I think generally the quality of the socks is pretty good. There's no like, it don't, they don't feel like cheap. So, uh, all in all, it seems all right. I might wear a couple and then uh, let you know <laughs> in a, a few weeks, maybe a month or so time. So I'll give them enough time to obviously wear in. You'll probably see this ring on my finger because I'll probably never take it off now. I'll just keep leave it on for now. Um, I might even buy the update, the uh, old one up. So I've got eight um, for this one. Buy the uh, number eight one for the ring, uh, just so that it's big. I might even buy it in a different color to this one. Then I've got two rings that I can wear, which would be pretty cool. Uh, I do like my rings, um, buying rings. Just don't like ones that obviously aren't meant for me, which obviously I'm not married, so I'm not gonna wear my marriage ring because I don't, I don't believe in that. Even though Catherine keeps hers on, I've told her endless times, take it off. It doesn't mean what it means now. We're not married. We haven't been for eight, nine years. So there you go. Since, well, since Rio was born. So yeah, about nine years. So there we go. Just living in the house, sharing as always. Anyway, thank you very much, everybody. Again, big shout and salute to my boys, my elites. I salute to you, Raf GT Sport and Free V Free. Appreciate you guys. Thank you for continuing to support the channel by paying $1.99. You can also join, just $1.99 gives you access to emails, badges, all cool stuff. Doing stuff like buying stuff and buying crazy items and, and whatnot for videos. If you want to support that, $1.99. Uh, I do want to do charity work for dementia and autism. $1.99 goes a long way. So please consider joining the channel if you want to follow along with other stuff, I do all sorts, I'm a variety streamer, then consider subscribing, hitting that notification bell. When you hit the notification bell, make sure that it's tapped and it's set to all, so you get all notifications of this channel. If you're quite new or if you already joined before and you are one of my convicts, Comicettes, check it out and make sure that you are also set to all. That just means that anything you get from me will be pushed out to yourself and not obviously just thrown out there and you're going, I heard from Capron Ages. Let me just find it. Oh, okay, you did a video. Why didn't I get that notification? Just make sure you've got it checked, otherwise you won't get it. And you have to also make sure that you allow other people to see. I think it is. I can't remember under security. You got to um, allow, otherwise it won't pop up to me. I won't see it. Anyway, salute and yeah, bye for now.